Well, the city of Charlotte is currently the third fastest growing major U.S. city, with the region's population expected to grow by 47 percent from 2010 to 2030. But even with all the building and development, there's at least one place around that's remained virtually unchanged for well over 100 years. Carolina Impact's Jason Terzas shares this local treasure with us. 33, 44. It takes you back to days gone by. It's kind of like the cheers where everybody knows your name. To a time when life was simpler. Everyone's friendly. Thank you much, y'all. Nice weekend. It's just a chance to slow down and go back to a time when you, you took your time. Yeah, and the wood floors and just the ambiance. And a place where the people always came first. It's all about the customer service. It's truly a family business. This family is located right in the heart of downtown Matthews. It's a nice family to be a part of. Renfro Hardware has been in business for more than 118 years. Yeah, you heard right, 118. This was kind of like the Walmart of 100 years ago. I, I've never been to a Walmart. <laughs> I've been to a Target, but I just, I don't need to go. Renfro's is truly a blast from the past. It's everything you'd expect in a hardware store, from batteries, light bulbs, paints, and yard tools, to gloves, grass seed, and potting mix, and even pots and pans. And keys, oh, they do keys. Oh gosh, we make tons of keys. I wish I'd have kept track of my whole life how many keys I made. It'd be probably millions. I mean, really, it's that many we make. Cruise down any aisle and you're bound to find what you're looking for. And even some things you may not be looking for, like the live cricket or the hens out back. And in the springtime, the arrival of the baby chicks. It's just so cool, such a, a great mix of things that you need and, and things that you probably don't know that you need, but <laughs> when you see it, you do. You walk in here and you smell the old hardware smell and the oils and the greases, and you see the bins of seeds, and um, there's no shopping mall and new store that can, that can give you that. Most of all, what Renfro's has is character. From the wooden floors, to the old Pepsi cooler with glass bottles inside, to the peanuts roasting on top of the wood stove. You can get seed and you can get uh, honey and you can get crickets uh, to go fishing with and, and you can get something to fix the squeak on your front door. You think it looks old fashioned, but if you look around, everything has to move or if it gets taken off the shelf and something goes in its place. Long before Matthews was engulfed by Charlotte, it was a quiet farming town. Everything in Matthews was farming and gold mining. Renfro General Merchandise first opened its doors in 1900 by Thomas Jefferson Renfro. Then he said, well, let's build a general store and let's put in a cotton gin because everybody that farmed grew cotton. The store quickly became a hub of activity in Matthews. Farmers purchased supplies from Renfro's and brought their cotton to the store for ginning. The last bale of cotton was ginned in 1965. It sits in the store to this day. At one point, Renfro's sold groceries and even Model A cars. That last building has been the Matthews movie theater. It was um, cotton bale storage. It had been a lawnmower shop, it's been an auto body shop. That was usually rented out. And I think there was a post office in here at one time, according to legend. Eugene McDowell Renfro, known as EM or Dow, became the second generation owner, with the store surviving the Great Depression and playing a role in World War II. During the war, the government rented that building and locked it up full of automobiles and tires. They said Matthews was such an out of the way place that if the Germans or the Japanese invaded, they'd never find this. Dow's son Franklin was the third generation of the Renfro family to run the store, but he never married or had any children. And in 1984, he handed the store off to David Blackley the day after he graduated from college. Finished my last exam and I was here the next day. It started out as just a business arrangement. I just took over and he literally handed me the keys and walked out. David has been running things for the last 35 years and the last 20 plus alongside Mark Earhart and Dennis Teague. Yeah, we're all family. And speaking of family, the Blackleys pretty much raised their three daughters in Renfro's. That's Presley, who practically grew up in the place. Once we finished elementary school, we had to ride to work with Daddy in the morning. And we worked for about 45 minutes to an hour before he dropped us off at school down the road. And then after school, we would get picked up and come back here and work for another hour. Frank Renfro remained a business partner with David until his death in 2010. He left the store and his land to the Blackleys. When he died, he had no family really, so he left that property back to us. The Blackley family decided to use that land as a farm, which is right around the corner from the hardware store. Here they make their own honey and grow all kinds of vegetables, plants for the greenhouse and flowers. All of that enticed Presley to return to the family business after finishing college. I liked working in the business growing up and I realized that I didn't love 
engineering as a career potential as much as I enjoyed the gardening. Presley grew flowers here for her own wedding and now does it for others. And I grew up in the business and now my daughter will grow up here being carted around while I work. The farm is a natural extension of the hardware store and offers a venue for teaching gardening classes, hosting community events, and perhaps most importantly, keeping a bit of Matthew's farming roots alive. Two families, five generations. I get the feeling old Thomas Jefferson Renfro would be proud of what he created more than a century ago. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Turkis Report. It's so great to see the legacy of that business. Thanks so much, Jason, for sharing it with us. David's daughter, Presley, isn't sure yet if she wants to become the next generation owner of Renfro's.